previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Get parked. Well, let's get this truck parked. Well, let's get this thing into its into its uh, little bay. Excellent. Right, let's handle the job. Let's get her parked away. That's the one there, up there. Right, okay, let's have a little look. I'm hoping there's any something special going on with the wheels and turning of the axles this time round. Because those can be really annoying for me. Right, okay. Bring us straight on up. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to just have a look outside to see where we're at. Okay, we're there. Right, I'm going to jump back in because I find it easier to do to do it from when I'm inside. Right, that should push this round into there like this. And pull it back. I've pulled it back too far, possibly. Let's see if I can keep st it straight in this point. Let's just pull it back now. Let's see what kind of mood I am in here today. See whether I'm getting better. And whoa, I'll take it. Look at that. It's not brilliant, but it went in in the first time round. Look at that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Press T for that trailer. Hi, and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2! Um, this week, we'll be playing on a brand new PC, because I had a little bit of an explosion on the the old one, so so um, we're on a new PC. But before we get into that, uh, let's uh, do the quick thing. Um, you said in the comments, um, Bob's to mentioned this a couple of times, he said in the comments that if you go to the audio, and I've done this already because I've checked it, if you go to the audio and then scroll down... Right, oh, is it audio? No, sorry, scroll down a bit there. Navigation! You know I always complain about there's no navigation. They can put it on! You can even put warnings on. You can have verbal ones and sound warnings when you're speeding as well. That's really cool! And you can't hear it over the loud music, but it's there! Anyway, he's, 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 he's kind of... I, I there we go. Turn that on down, see if we can hear Doug. Turn left. Turn, turn left. left. Turn left, turn right. Okay, so... We'll turn that... Way down. Exit left. And we'll turn Doug up. Exit right. Have we got anybody else in here? Look at these languages. Oh, we got Sky. Oh, Sky. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh, she's got. She's a bit shouty, isn't she? Sky, old granny. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Wow, that's just terrible. That's the most Americanified um, old granny I've ever heard. Let's go with <laughs> Raspy Doug. At the roundabout. Take the third exit. Oh, that's silky smooth, Doug. That's silky smooth. We're going to go with that. At the roundabout. Take the next left. It's growling at you. It's like having Duke Nukem in the vehicle with you, I think. So, anyway, right. Okay, I can't even remember what we were planning to do this week. I think I think we were just... We were... What were we doing? Hang on. I've completely lost myself. I, 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 as I said to you before, I had a little bit of a disaster with the old... Uh, yeah, we're going to go there. Because it looked interesting. That's what we were going to do. We were going to find a job there. And we were going to go here. And get a job there, weren't we? I don't know why I was going there. But that just looked like an interesting place to get a job. Anyway... Um, yeah, I had a bit of a disaster with the old with the old computer. So, so um, the little I had a little Intel um, Hades Nook, which is basically um, a micro or a mini computer. It's absolutely mi minuscule. It's like it's like I don't know, quarter of a size of the old um, VHS style um, PlayStation One. So it's just minuscule as a sort of size, absolutely tiny. Um, and the blooming thing. Um, there was a little, there was a little fizz, and then there was a, there was, a, and look at this, isn't it nice? This is, this is, this is set to ultra now from me, for me as well, from from what I've done. But um, yeah, so the, the, there was a little fizz, um, and the 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 the, 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 the thing stopped working, um, and I was most 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 gutted about that. Right, so we're coming out of here. Do we need any fuel while we're at it? We do. So let's get some fuel. Check, there's nobody there. 
Um, there was a little fizz, and the, the thing stopped. And uh, the, the hilarious thing is, um, it's still under warranty. I was quite surprised to see, because um, basically it's a bare bones system, so it's still under warranty. So, so I contacted um, Intel, who make the, the Hades, um, and uh, had the, the one of those silly conversations where I said, "There's no power to it. There's 19 volts to the power adapter, which means the power adapter's working, um, but there's no power to the device itself." Um, and then I get this this response back saying, "Can you check the BIOS?" I'm like, "No." It doesn't power up. How am I meant to check the bias when it doesn't? It doesn't actually physically power up. Um, followed by m many other questions along the similar vein, all of which requiring me to be able to power it up. And I went, I can't power it up. It's not working. Um, so I'm assuming some uh, some regulator or something similar has actually gone wrong, and that's what's what the problem is. So anyway, um, but yes. So um, I was like, oh god, I'm out without. I'm without a computer. Um, I desperately, uh, I, mean, I desperately enjoy playing my computer games. I'm without a computer. What am I going to do? And I thought, you know what? What the hell? We're gonna, we're, we'll, 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 we'll buy a, we'll buy another one. So I bought another one, and I've literally turned everything up to max because, well, um, let's just say, oh, Doug's talking. Your raspy Doug was there. I didn't, didn't. What are you saying, Doug? What are you saying? Raspy Doug was on there. So I literally, I literally exit went, now. oh, exit now, exit now, raspy Doug. Anyway, so um, I, I basically went out and I, I, I purchased another computer. Um, <laughs> And I, I didn't, I didn't mess about either. Um, I actually wanted the lower spec, funnily enough, um, uh, but I couldn't, couldn't find one, and I bought it off the shelf. Um, but, but, but I wanted Go the lower straight. spec. Uh, Go straight. I'm, I think Raspy Truck's gonna, you know, he's, 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 he's far too sexy to be in uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Anyway, um, but uh, um, yeah, so 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 I went out and bought a computer. It was uh, with a with a, with a specification that was kind of, um, you know, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Stop it, Doug! Stop it, Doug! It's too exciting. You're far too thrilling with that voice. Um, anyway. Um, so, so I, I went out and I bought a, I bought a, a Ryzen 7 actually, and I actually got a, a an Nvidia um, 3060, and I'm and I'm not regretting it. Thankfully, I'm not regretting it. Look at these bombed out buildings. This really kind of weird. Anyway, um, I'm not regretting it. I don't I don't regret it. But but it I got beeped out because it was speeding. That was actually quite handy. That little thing. I wish I'd turned these on earlier. Um, Take the third exit. Turn the third exit. I've come here to, 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 to chew bubble gum and kick ass and I'm all out of gum, says uh, Raspy Doug. Exit um, now. Exit now. I'm sorry, uh, Doug's, Doug's really off-putting because uh, cause he's, cause, you know, sexy Doug. Um, but but yeah, so I, I kind of stumped up for the for the for the whole thing. Yes, it's still 1080p because my my screen isn't anything more than 1080p, so you're not going to get 4K. Plus, my recorder doesn't do 4K. But but who cares? It looks cool. It looks nice. It plays really well. It's silky smooth. Exit now. Exit now. Oh, Doug, stop it! Stop it! It's so exciting! Right here we go. We've got a couple place Turn coming up left. now. Turn left. Thanks, Doug. Your, your your advice has been most informative. Here we are. Safe. Here we are. <laughs> I hope I turn this up loud enough that you can hear it. I'm gonna have to practice with the volume on this one. So we've got the music in the background, hopefully, and we've got Raspy Doug. Raspy Doug. Um, right, okay, let's have a little look at this and see what we can find. So let's do a freight one. Thankfully the saves are there. I've lost some saves from some games though. It's really quite disappointing actually. I have to admit I'm I'm not quite chuffed about some things. Where's this to go? My god, that's a run. 800 miles. That's good. definitely going to have to have a stop in it, isn't it? It's nine tons of empty barrels. It's going to have to have a stop. Um, I don't fancy going that direction. We were trying to go towards Italy, so there's one to Rome. Well, sorry, no, we are in Italy. What am I talking about? Is there anything that goes further down? That's Venice. Rome. What else have we got here? Oh, wow, that's the one, isn't it? That's 800 miles, but right down the bottom, taking us into this sort of bit of the the, 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 the funny-shaped rugby ball from the end of the kicking boot. That's perfect. So what have we got? That's uh, Fragile Cargo. It's standard delivery. It's high value. We've got to be there by Monday or Tuesday. Currently, it's Sunday there at the top of the screen. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, high value, six tons, um, little vans. Bark of, I do like taking these uh, these these transporters. They're kind of cool, aren't they? Um, so, yeah, that looks like that looks like the run because that's literally going to take us the entire length of Italy. That's the one. 57,000. 50, uh, we must be able to get a sleep in amongst that. There must be a, a sleep somewhere. So we want to be about halfway to get, or we might push it to ten hours probably, and then we'll have a sleep. So let's let's take that one. Let's do this. Let's do this, says Raspy Doug. I think I think this is going to be an episode where I repeat everything Doug says repeatedly because Doug's just Doug is Doug. Um, let's run that way. Plumbing neck. I've got the advanced parking on as usual. Um, oh, advanced, sorry, advanced coupling, trailer coupling. That's what it's called. That's the official name for it. There's our, there's our, there's our, there's our load. Right. So what that means in real terms. For you and I, and for anybody new to my channel, is that if you look at the back of it, there's the fifth wheel in the centre of the truck. And then if we spin this round a bit, we can see the, the thing we're reversing to. And that has a, a little pin in the middle of it, which we have to hit with the with the with this with this coupling. It'll be interesting to see if it's any easier to do when we've got the, that graphical graphical fidelity that's there. I'm being naughty here, by the way, I'm just being admiring the truck from the outside. It's probably wrong. No, missed it. Must be it must be out. It's out, I think, slightly. So I'm gonna get back in the truck because that's the, the way to do it. But I just wanted to look at that like that, because that's just gorgeous, isn't it? Really is gorgeous. Right, let's get back in the truck. Let's do it let's do it properly. So Oh don't 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 push it out the way. Yeah, what a bit of a disaster that was. But to be fair, I mean I when I bought the, the machine pre made, it came and it's it's got big flashing fans on the front of it as you you kind of expect for this kind of um gaming machine machine and i don't regret it i think i think as i say it, it's it's i'm not on not on it stay straight there we go <laughs> oh J doug said something there but i completely missed it Whatever you said, Doug, thanks very much for telling me. Go, nice going, I think it was, or something like that. There's the legs being lifted, and we are locked and ready to go. Let's get out of here. Let's do let's do this. Come on, Doug, let's do it. Raspy Doug. I think this episode's gonna be called Raspy. I'm gonna call this episode Raspy Doug, so if you wonder why it's called Raspy Doug, that's why. Or maybe you can call it Duke Nukem. I'm all out of gum. Turn right. Let's go. Turn right. I'm just repeating what he says. It's it's like it's like have you ever seen the movie um, Galaxy Quest? There's a Galaxy Quest. I quite like Galaxy Quest actually. It's kind of a, a, a satire on uh, sort of um, well, effectively Star Trek and it's real sci-fi of that time from the 80s, and sort of 70s and 80s. And there there sort of has been actors who were acted in it. Um, and uh, Sigourney Weaver plays the sort of um, the, the sort of I don't know what she uh, her role is. Nobody knows what her role is. I think that's the joke realistically. Um, and she she. She actually, uh, she actually just ha her entire job is to repeat Exit what the computer now. says. It's a bit like me with Raspy Doug here, you know. Exit now, you know that kind of thing. So just, just, just. Well, Sky's a bit rat loud, isn't she? She's a bit squeaky in the whole thing. So anyway, let's get let's let's get out of this um, town with the destroyed building. That is that is kind of interesting. I do like a bit of diastopia, you know, a diastopic future. I do like a bit of that. I like, do. I've got a, I got a, I got a thing for sort of things that are collapsing. I always, I always, I always stop and and, and look at them. It's it's really weird. Oh wow! Oh hello, hello Lamborghini. Oh he's flying as well. He's giving it a bit, get a speed around there. Couldn't see the car underneath me there. Right, okay, we're going for it. Dave, dear me. Crumbs. Do we have to give way? What are you doing? I'm on the roundabout now with the back of the truck. Oh, 
absolutely all over the roundabout. But you'll see a lo lot more distance, draw distance and everything. I literally, everything's on max. There's a button that I pressed and it just went max. Ultra, I think it is, or something similar, or maximum. So everything's on maximum now, so you should be able to see lots and lots of detail that maybe we didn't see previously. And to be fair, it's like, it's some of the games I've played so far in it, um, I've, I've found myself going, wow, you know, it's like, it's like a whole new... Um, experience on some of these games. There's some just absolutely stunning. I mean, I played the uh, what was it, the Blair Witch uh, Witch game. I played the, big, the sort of intro on that, and you wander through this war forest, and it's just absolutely stunning. Yeah, no, Doug. We're going. We're going. We're going. Raspy Doug. Exit now. Exit now. So we get a telly. So we got a card here. So I should be able to pass through the one that doesn't require me to stop and pay. So I can just whiz through this one. I got a telepass. Get ready to turn right. Get ready to turn right. Already? Morning. He came out the door there just as I turned up. Turn Get right. Ready to turn. turn right. Tell you what, I'm not getting as lost as I usually do. I wish I'd known about this ages ago. How long have I been playing this for? Several years? Several years I've been playing this for, and I still still don't know all the ins and outs of it. I love the fact that I don't know the ins and outs of it. I I I feel like such an idiot sometimes when I do this, but 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 it's I've loved every second of it. I love learning the stuff. I love it when you all tell me as well in the comments. I got a comment to, to, just today um, from I'm going to assume um, somebody from, from uh, who's uh, in the United States and. Uh, um, that it's on the, one of my games, uh, Retrowave. I did a little video for this game, Retrowave, which I really enjoyed, and it's very well watched on my channel. I thought, and I really enjoyed playing it. It's uh, it's, a, it's a sort of very arcadey sort of uh, reminds me a little bit of Outrun, where you basically buzz down the road, full tilt. There's no turns; just go straight down the road. Um, it's very retro. It's got a lot of synth wave, a lot of music with it. Have, have a look; it's worth looking at, just just for the the feel of it. And I really like it. And it's got this chroma effect going, which is basically it looks like like an old VHS video, if you know what that is. You know, like it's paused and that you get them horrible sort of white and black lines that go along the bottom of the image. Well, that's what that's what that's what it is. It's sort of that kind of thing, and I'm gonna have to come across shortly. Um, I'm not keep oh, left. Yeah. Keep left. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm keeping left. I'm coming left now. Right, and and it's kind of got this chroma sort of feel to it it's called I think is the, the thing it's a filter it's kind of makes it look a bit like it's an old VHS video um, and it's really really good um, and I really enjoyed it but as I say this uh, this chap from the United States felt that felt obliged to say how offended he was that I didn't recognize the difference between uh, an American Mitsubishi which I've never seen in my life um, uh, you know, I've never seen one, um, although I grew up with it, I'm more likely to say it, look at a, do you remember Leyland, you know, Leyland Marina and things like that, I'm more like Austin Marina, Austin Marina, you know, that kind of thing, and the, 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 the it was Leyland Ambassador, those kind of things, Princess and those kind of cars, I'm more likely to recognise them from the 80s than I am for, for, for something else, I'm sorry guys, but you're going to have to wait, you know, I've got on first. Um, more likely to recognise them from the 80s, but anyway, he seemed he was he was extremely offended by the fact that I didn't know the, these American cars, which uh, in uh, but took to, took to it to you know, and I don't know whether to reply back. I mean, because I, I don't normally I don't block anybody, but I don't know whether to reply back and say I'm you know deeply sorry that I've uh, offended your you know sensibilities, or you know with a sort of jokey kind of thing, or just just leave it be really. Probably just leave it be because I don't think it's worth the hassle. But I mean, uh, wow, that looks um, impressive for a wall around the place. It's weird. Anyway, yeah. So, but but yeah, just it was just a bit of a weird one that one. It was just uh, I was I, I I did you know it's just a fun game and it's like a lot of fun. Maybe it was a jokey comment. I can kind of leave it leave it jokey maybe so. So what do you think? Do you think it looks better? I think it looks lovely. I think it looks stunning. I think that I think there's a there's a lovely it, 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 there's a, there's a, and a new feel of of depth here that there was that probably wasn't previously. Look at that! Just we're on the open road and we're going for it. It looks great. Really good. I'm gonna run out. Of, they're gonna run out of road in a second. That car behind me. Old van. 
So anyway, let's do the let's do the usual. You love this one, don't you? Love this part. This is the part where we talk we talk about the uh, what's down in the uh, bottom right hand corner, which is the GPS. Bottom right hand corner, 50 miles per hour. We're doing we're in 12 automatic the 12th automatic gear because we're doing automatic. Then there's damage to the truck, followed by the um, diesel gauge or our fuel gauge, followed by our sleep, which is a little bed which slowly fills up to blue, then goes red, and then we start to fall asleep. And I've often pushed it recently. Then you've got a little envelope, which is sadly un really underused, if you ask me. The envelope is, wow, um, is really underused in the sense that they, I think it could offer so much more to the game in the sense of sort of, I don't know, secret or special missions. And I know this is a simulation at the end of the day, but it doesn't mean they couldn't have done some kind of, you know, random call to your depot asking if you wouldn't mind pick this load up for a little extra cash, maybe? Don't know. Something like that, as if you, you were doing that. Anyway, um, I've just realised there's a reflection of the road in my visor. Look at that. I don't think that was there before, previously. Anyway, um, so, so, and then we've got the time, the date and time, so which what date should I say? Sunday, 15.55, so 3 at 4, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we're meant to be getting in at the moment, the current speed, we're meant to get in a little bit below, is the, where the little red flag is, the little red flag shows us the um, actual time that we're meant to be getting in, at the moment we're going to get in at 9.26am, uh, we're 725 miles away, um, 17 hours and 23 minutes, and Doug is being extremely quiet now, he's quietened down, he's piped down because we're, 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 we're on the road and he doesn't need to tell me to do anything. Which is good because he doesn't. He's not over. He's, he's not over complicated it. I want to be the next dog on it. I want to be the. I want to be the raspy demon. That sounds like a band, doesn't it, from the eighties or nineties? Should I say, grunge bands from the night that from from from, from the nineties. Raspy demon. Probably sing about. I don't know. Girlfriends leaving us and. Uh, Madness, madness. He, he says, "We're going for it." I was going, I was bombing along there, and I hadn't realised that there was narrowing there. Oh look, church or something, a tower of some sort, spire. Cool. I'm just, 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 just taking the run that ride along. So yeah, so so I had to order the PC. It took a took a took a long day to arrive, but it but but I haven't. I'm not regretting it. I do feel I do feel like. Um, it was it was the right decision, um, and to be fair, with Intel taking it back next week, um, so when they're taking it back, they're going to pick it up and then send it to send it to Amsterdam for for its sins, um, which is apparently is where Intel's base is, and then probably send me another one back um, within I don't know a week or so. I'm quite pleased they did it, um, and to be fair, my my daughter's going to make out like a bandit from that. I'm going to give it to her because I think she's been she's got a laptop, but I think she would like a PC as well. So so, um, and it's pretty pretty when it's working. It's a pretty sweet little PC to be honest. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely machine. We're bombing along the road. How's everybody's week been? You all been busy? You had things on? I've had a busy week. It's been one of them weeks. I've been in and out of, of sort of... I haven't done a lot of mileage again. You know, I think that's the thing at the moment. No, not doing a lot of mileage, but I have been in and out um, doing bits and pieces in the office and sort of bombing around. I got a got a chance to work from home yeah, um, Thursday. I'm going to say yesterday. It's just when I'm recording this, but realistically, well, the side road looks cool. Um, but, but uh, um, you know... I got a chance, you know, yesterday, Thursday, to, to have a to, to work from home. Well, I say work from home. I had to go into the office because I'd forgotten some ladders for one of the lads. I had to get his ladders. Oh, look, the train on the bridge. Very cool. Um, so I'd forgotten some ladders that were in the back of my van, so I had to drop them off. But that was the only thing I did. So and then I worked from home. But it was a really busy day, and I got a lot done. Sometimes not working from the office or not working from from from, from places can be really um, productive. And I was I was I was certainly productive that day. And then um, Friday, obviously today that I'm recording this today, um, uh, for a change, a bit earlier than usual, um, uh, was uh, was also an extremely um, productive day. I'm just looking at the things inside the road. Got a lot done. Got a lot of work done. A lot of things sort of sorted and then um, set up. I've got a job out on Monday, which is going to take me over the other side of the country, which is fine. Looking forward to that one. Should keep me busy. 
But otherwise, you know, the thing about the, the, the thing about this is, I mean, I know it's a lockdown, but it's not. It doesn't feel like the same lockdown. You know, the th the very first one we had. Remember the, the one back in March last year. Um, was it March? End of March, wasn't it? Through through April. That one felt like a lockdown. Everybody felt like they were staying at home and, you know, don't work, don't work, don't work, you know, furlough, furlough, furlough. Um, and this this one feels like if you can work, you, can, you should go to work. And, that, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't feel quite the same. With, with, you know, I think I've been more in the office than I've ever been the last year, if that makes sense. So, so, so it doesn't feel quite the same sort of level of... Uh, of, of, of intensity which it should be but it just isn't um, I think that's a, a very, that's a very lax sort of well you know go to work kind of thing because you need to keep the economy going you know so but which uh, I don't know I don't know whether that's right or wrong realistically I enjoyed a, uh, that, you know the last the, 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 the first lockdown was kind of was kind of um, was one where we you know was was strong and I, w I did still go out and I still worked in it I mean I, I remember going up to just outside Glasgow when during the, 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 the first lockdown because I needed to because something was down and uh, you know really repaired and you can't you can't not you can't not you couldn't not work um, at the same time I, I mean you don't know where you stand realistically with that you know whether you could say no I'm not going to work but really nice this actually it's really smooth isn't it it's a nice smooth journey we are 15 we're 644 miles away we have 15 hours and 32 minutes we are making our way all the way south through italy southern italy what's southern italy special for us there must be something because rome's up actually near to what near the top isn't it so so's venice we've got a Palermo. palermo is that what's called palermo i think so well i can't get my mouth around it i bet raspy i bet raspy doug can Palermo. Maybe. I'm rather enjoying Doug too much. He's a bit raspy. I think that's maybe what Bob said. Bobster said, I think you need to put on raspy raspy Doug. I think that's what he said in the comments, actually. We're ploughing through the countryside. We're making we're making we're making good head headway. I had to copy my music back onto it as well. My 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 un, my, my licensed unlicensed required music that needs to go back on the computer that's basically it so i think the biggest hardest problem was probably downloading all the games that i pr currently play on it to be, be fair um, that was probably the most that was probably the most strenuous element of the whole thing just getting those all downloaded that that put to the best part of 24 hours wow look at this all that river that's river sort of dried up through there hasn't it that's amazing shouldn't do that though that looks like a vineyard to me as well over there just stay on the side of the road my mobile is going mental by the way i must be getting messages about something i forgot i recently I, i'm not my eyesight isn't terribly good nowadays so especially for detailed stuff i'm all right for distance i mean i'm fine fine sort of you know i can go out driving without glasses i don't need it for that but i do need it for sort of close-up work but I've got one of these smart watches because, you know, well, why not? I thought I'd go, and my old watch had sort of had broken and snapped, and I thought, well, might might as well. Didn't spend a lot of money. I think it was, it was, it was, wasn't a very. It was on sale. It was a Samsung one. It was on sale, so it matched up with, with my my cheap phone. My phone's like 120 quid's worth. It's like the dirtiest, cheapest one you can get because I'm always dropping them and breaking them realistically. And, and and to be fair, in my job, I quite often they fall out of my pocket and things. And I, I couldn't I couldn't justify a, a 1,200 pound phone just to, to, to drop it on the floor and break it. Um, so that my watch isn't much more expensive. My watch is like 150 quid. It was on sale or something similar. So I bought this smartwatch. But of course, the problem with the smartwatch is it's got a small face and dial. So I had to choose big dials so I can see it because you choose your faces and things like that. Um, and I must have pushed a button on the settings that turned off the vibration element of it. So so you can have it like ring on your wrist, so you know it's ringing. And you can also have it vibrate. And then there's a, like a mode where it doesn't do either. It's just on your wrist. Uh, well, I turned off the vibration, which is actually quite handy because you know it's because I don't actually like a ringtone on my phone. I actually like it off, so I often have that off. Um, and I thought I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put the ringtone on my my, you know, I'll I'll, I'll do that. I, mean, I must have knocked it off accidentally. This uh, this vibration, anyway. So um, I've just discovered how to put it back on again today. I, I feel I feel quite quite proud of myself. I found the button. Especially as it's so small, that was the problem. The teeny little things—you get like six little icons on the screen. It's a minuscule screen. 
What's this on the side of the road here? What's a police car stop somebody? Oh dear. Naughty, naughty person. Look at this. Look at the clouds in my mirrors, by the way. Just look at the left or the right one. The, 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 the clouds are just blooming brilliant. They look fantastic. This has got all the, the all the things. And and, and do you know so what I haven't noticed before, and I'm noticing now is that that bottom mirror on the bottom uh, on the on the bottom left there is uh, slightly curved to give me a better angle of the road. I hadn't even noticed that before. That's really cool. Right, telepass. I need to be in this other line here because it says telepass here. This is the automated pass for the whole thing to to uh, to get through without having to um, you know stop effectively or not not stop beyond sort of going 20 miles per hour. You have to go through about 19. There, that's the speed. This is the sp this is the perfect speed so that this thing opens and you get through. 19 miles per hour is the perfect speed for that. Let's go. Let's get ourselves back up to speed. Ooh, the glowing sign up here. What's this saying? Don't run into me, anybody. What's that say? I can't speak Italian, but there is a glowing sign up there. It says something. Keep left. Keep left, says Raspy Dark. Keep left. On chew bubble gum. Many loads lead to Rome. Oh, I was, I was Rome in the bottom. I didn't think Rome was this far, this far south. Maybe I'm in Rome. Oh, I don't know. I'm totally confused now. I thought Rome was further up. Or am I thinking of Torino? Maybe I'm thinking of Torino. That's the home of Avico, by the way. If you didn't realise that. We went there once, and we bought a truck, I think, from the, from the home of Avico. Look at the sunlight coming across the dash. Beautiful. There's a little purple at the back of the, the light from the the, 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 the daft um, uh, sign that I've got in signage in there. Look at those mirrors. Keeping an eye on those mirrors as we could pull out. Okay. Back on the main road. So at some point we're going to have to stop. Um, if I press F6, I can see where we're at. So I've got five hours and four minutes worth of trip till next stop. It's there down in the bottom uh, right hand corner if you want to do it. I've got 29 hours remaining to complete the job. It's 57,000. Um, I've got a uh, cargo of vans. You can just steer there, car. I'm at 43 miles per hour. I need to get up to 50 miles per hour. Um, but we've got another five hours of driving before we do it. So, so we don't need to stop for another five hours. Am I in the wrong lane here, or the right lane? I'll just slow that down a little bit. Is that a Dacia, by the way, that car? It looks a bit like a Dacia. Is it Dacia? Those really cheap cars that, are, that, that basically just do what they say on the tin. They're just a cheap car that costs like... Between, I think the lowest price you can pay for one is about £6,000, isn't it? They're really cheap. I think they're just and they're just functional, aren't they? I think I think at that level you just literally get a car with wheels and it in its inside and whatever else it is. But for a brand new car, I don't think six grand's bad. However, I think you get stuffed now for the tax, don't you? Because they're they're not very they're not very efficient, if that makes sense. So you get really hammered by um, road tax. I think that's the big problem with them now. I, I might be wrong. If you know any better, put it in the comments below. You know the, you know the drill. You know the drill. Gonna come off here. I've got. I, 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 if you've actually ever seen me in my pictures, I mean, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm on the Facebook page there. I'm not Facebook page, my right. um, page there. Take a right. take a take a right. All right, Doug. All right. I wasn't very sexy this Exit time round. Right. Exit right. Well, the lights have just come on. Just all flicked on there. Um, but if you've ever seen me on my channel in my, my, my vlog section, you, you will see that I've, I've grown a beard. I grew a beard last year, and it was nothing to do with the pandemic. I was actually growing it before that. I've never never been the owner of a beard. I, I, it's almost like it's its own animal, to be honest with you, growing a beard. Um, so, so I grew a beard last year. Um, my wife really calls it the pandemic beard. She says that all the COVID beard. 
um, because since I've grown a beard we've had Covid so she reckons if I shave it off we'll, we'll, we'll all be saved um, I don't think that's how it works but anyway um, so we, but, but uh, I've, grown a, I've grown a beard um, and at the moment I need it I'm, I'm, I, because and to be fair I haven't had a real chance to actually deal with and I love that sun by the way in the back in, that, in those mirrors look at that sunset anyway um, but I haven't really had a good chance to um, telepass this one um, I haven't really had a good chance to sort of go to the barbers and learn the, the ins and outs of the ownership of a beard. Um, again, like it's a small animal. Um, I haven't really learnt that, 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 that all the things, so I'm just doing the basics, you know, sort of shaving it and using the, using the, the, the sort of, you know, a little bit of advice I did get when the, the only t one and only time it got... Uh, it's been shaved a couple of times, but the one and only time it got styled as such um, was 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 then. So at the moment it's a little bit long, so I need to kind of go over it with. Uh, I'm getting lights on. I'll go over it with uh, with the the sort of with a, with a, with my uh, um, you know one of these electric razor type things that sort of takes off the length if that makes sense. Um, but at the moment it's a little long, and um, because I got a little soft sort of foam on the microphone, my the, the 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 hair on my chin keeps rubbing against it, and it just it's it's not irritating. It's just I just quite funny really wouldn't have happened before when I had that 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 bald chin that I had um, I do like being a beard owner though I've been I'm quite quite enjoying being a beard owner it's actually for me it's been one of them one of those nice things because I've, I've, I'm, I've you know I'm an older kind of guy now and and, and I kind of like the fact that it makes me a little older but at the same time I think it's quite nice because because I've not got grey or anything particularly my beard's a little grey but my my, uh, my 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 actual hair isn't particularly grey um, for, for my age look at this naughty naughty boy naughty boy it stopped right okay where are we going do we turn off here now we stick it stick stick here these Italian ones are interesting because they don't always have I'm gonna pull over here don't always go to you know the three lanes don't always just merge off the different direction i'm glad raspy job uh, raspy bob raspy raspy doug <laughs> raspy doug and um, doesn't doesn't tell you to go straight on when he sees those kind of things we ever got a tom tom or any other sat nav they usually go straight on you know when they come to those kind of junctions doug only tells you when he needs when he's got something to tell you I can I can imagine that uh, Raspy Doug, this hard drinking guy, possibly. I don't know. I get the feeling he might be <laughs> for a voice actor. I wonder if he. I wonder if he was brought in for the job as Doug on the thing, or whether or not he was. Uh, that he was outside it. We should one of these days though. We should try one of the the, the foreign accents. We just have the foreign accent. That'll be quite funny. I think we could probably guess it as well. We need, like, you know, if we go for Italy, we should have an Italian lady or something like that doing talking to us. I don't know what the Italian for left and right is, though. We'd soon find out, wouldn't we? That could be actually quite fun. We might do that. Right, anyway, 11 hours to go. Uh, I think we are pretty, pretty well sleepy. We have 400 miles to go. I want to push on for another hour or so, I think is where I want to be. Well, in fact, I want to push on for an hour and a half at least. So it gives us 10 hours left of journey. So let's push push on. I should not I should have looked around for other options, by the way, for, for places to go through, but this is a quite a long journey. I thought you, I think you deserve it, considering I've had to put to, to get a new PC. Uh, you deserve it, I deserve it. We deserve a nice long run. So, so I really, I think we're gonna push on for another hour or so. Um, and hopefully we'll find ourselves somewhere nice to park. As I said to you before in this game, I know I can select the jobs by, by finding them through the menus, I do know that, um, but at the same time I also know that, that, that I kind of like the experience of going and finding my job, you know, going to somewhere and choosing to find the job. Uh, I like the experience of sort of, I, I don't like to push the map button even though I know it pauses the game, I would rather pull up properly, officially, and, and, and do that. I mean, if we're, we're doing a simulator, We've got to try and do some of the things. I know I should do the gears and all this kind of stuff, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm. I don't know how confident I am with that element of it. I'd love to get the whole uh, driving rig at some point. Um, I, I do have a steering wheel, but but as I think I've said before, it's rubbish. It's not a very good steering wheel. Well, it's good enough for like racing car games, but but it's kind of disappointing on on 
um, you know, Euro truck because what it does is it tries to swing back to the centre, whereas you don't want to do that with a with a with a truck game. You know, you want you want it to sort of stay in the angle you originally set it. Um, I think it would take a little bit of experience and practice. It might be it might be something for another day. Realistically, I've got all kinds of games I want to show you as well. I've got uh, I've got Mudrunner now, obviously fully going. I know it's Snowrunner, but you have to get that from Epic, and I, and I don't refuse to go to Epic. I know a lot of people have got Epic and they, they get the uh, the free games that come with it, but it's just I don't I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. I don't. I don't. I really do. I, I've, I've, I've got right. enough digital distributions. Right. Exit right. Exit now. Exit right. Exit right. Come on, Doug. Anyway, so I don't know. I've got a few digital distributions. I might my, my my personal favourite though of all the distributions for digital things is actually GOG or Good Old Games or GOG. Some people call it. I call it GOG. I like GOG. It's name. Um, those those are those are actually my personal one because um, all the games are DRM free, so you can download and keep them forever without having to use some kind of distribution service to to connect up and actually do anything with them. But um, yeah, that, that's my that's just a personal personal preference, you know. But but I, I don't mind I don't mind uh, I don't mind uh, uh, I'm come over. I don't mind uh, uh, Steam. I quite like Steam. It was interesting. I was looking at it the other day and it said there was 24 million people online. When I was looking at it. I actually thought that was a lot less than I thought could possibly be online. But you get some great deals out there. I bought um, recently. Um, I, I years, but years ago, I was uh, I was an Amiga user for for quite a long time, and, and I like the Amiga. It's a lovely computer, brilliant time computer. I've still got an Amiga actually. I've got a 500 plus and a and a 600. And I was a Amiga user way back way back when. And one of the games that got came out and sort of got a, 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 a sort of <clears throat> made special copies of in, 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 on mass everywhere was a, a game called Flashback um, uh, Flashback was by Delphine Software I think it was and unfortunately it got universally copied it literally they didn't even get it they didn't even get shipped before it was copied if that made sense it escaped from the from the developers um, and they, they kind of lost control of this this uh, this game um, but but it was it was available on GOG the other day um, for for 89p and I, to be fair I bought a copy I thought it was a time that well to be fair it's not the second it's, that's actually the third time I've bought it since I think I feel guilty for the fact that I probably had a copy back in the day um, uh, it, but I never really got into it I never really liked it it's a re I don't think it's a remaster as such but um, it's like um, what was the other one another world wasn't it another world was another one. Though I don't think that was so universally copied, but but yeah, other the world was the kind of prelude to um, flashback, and it's a game that I really want to get into. It's I've been think I've been toying with this idea of doing a, a series called um, Five Hours Five Episodes, and um, basically doing an hour on particular choosing a particular game from. And I think I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but choosing a particular game from sort of the the the, the anything from the Mega Drive generation, anything that requires a bit more complexity than the. Ooh. The usual ZX Spectrum game, you know, where you can't really couldn't couldn't. There are very few Spectrum games that you could do five hours on without without covering the same ground within the first hour, if that makes sense. There are a few, you know, tactical games and other things that you could probably do it with, um, but 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 in the general case, that there, there aren't very many that you could do that with. Um, so I do like the beep for for the speeding, by the way. That's really handy indeed. Um, but. Yeah, that there's very few that you could uh, you could uh, you could actually do that with on Spectrum, but there are other more modern games, and I, I maybe maybe that's one of the ones I should do. Maybe I should do, um, you know, finally playing Flashback after all these years. But 20 miles per hour does 19, 20 miles per hour does that perfectly. Behave, car underneath me, or truck underneath me. It's going to come up underneath me now. I can feel it. Stay where you're at, please. It's coming up underneath me really fast. Right, whatever. Yeah, you can stay there with your your Huma. Huma van. Oh, I'm getting tired now. Now it's time to look for, for somewhere to, to, to rest. 
So the next service station is probably our our uh, target for this. So we'll get the next service station or next services is the one we're looking for. So we've got to keep an eye out and we'll have to have a little look and see if we can do it. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for the next services that come up. There might be one here. Wow. Look at that. I love the way it dapples across the dash as you drive through this thing. It's blooming brilliant. Right, here we go. Uh, I can't come off for this. Sugar. We've gone to red bed. We are on the red bed. The bed is red down in the, the, the down in the old GPS there. Um, that's a bad sign. We need to we need to find we need to find a route. That's above us, isn't it? That blooming thing. We're in a very long tunnel. Let's hope we can find a, a somewhere to stop soon, because this could be very bad. Yeah, he's joining. The, we're joining, the, rejoining the road here. Okay, drivers are making money. We're making money hand over fist. There is a play at turn off coming up now. Not for there, but for this next place. We might as well go in here, wherever this is, and see if we can find somewhere to park. There must be somewhere to uh, come on over. We'll come right over and let these lawn. There we go. How friendly was I there? There you go. This place here. Um, let's pull off here. Um, we are 8 hours and 58 minutes away from the destination. This has to have somewhere to stay. Um, is it F5? No, there's petrol coming up. There. Do you see it on the map? See it on the map? I've just pressed F5 and zoomed out. Let's go. Let's keep going with this. We'll go with there. We'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. That's got to be worth it. I don't know how far away it is, but it's worth, it's worth the risk. Let's go for it. We're going to push push it to the limit again. Push it to the max. We're going to push it to the max. I love this truck. It's great. I can't remember what I was talking about, actually. I completely lost my train of thought there. I think a little, little, little wander, down, uh, wander, wander down memory lane about something, probably. No, it really annoys me that when I just lose my train of thought that we're, we're doing that. It's no point putting in the comments though, because 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 I can't really go back and revisit it again. But well, I can revisit it in the comments, but I can't remember what it was. I do do I think I said this about the lights, but I do like that dappling effect across the dash. It's so good. It looks great. This game it really is a brilliant game. So we are 341 miles away, 8 hours and 30 minutes. We are making our way to the next possible petrol diesel stopping place. It is here, it is 500 yards away. It looks like it's got food and whatever else it is, it should have a stop as well so that we can pull up and have a rest. I'm hoping, please, 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 please have somewhere we can stop and rest. We need to stop and rest. Here it is, it's coming up now gonna come off at this one I wonder if Doug will shout at us let's come off here yeah I'm finding a place to rest that's I think okay or to carry a new route no no Doug we're not finding a new route we're, we're finding we're gonna go in here that's a resting point isn't it that is rest stop it is it's a rest stop Doug Doug we're gonna have to sleep here behave Doug don't get excited. Good night. <laughs> He's thoroughly entertained me. He really has. He's thoroughly entertained me. 9 at 30 27 a.m. The sun is shining. We are making our way back down the main road. We're not going to get any diesel. We don't need any. We are 8 hours and 13 minutes away. It is a glorious morning. Good morning, solar panels. Beautiful. Glorious morning. We are we are feeling frisky and we're ready to go. Uh, I'm not sure that we can be feeling frisky. I suppose we can be. Sounds like sounds like a, you know sounds sounds like I'm a dog this morning. He's feeling frisky. He's a good boy. Maybe dog's feeling frisky. I'll take the dog out for a walk. This. Look at this. I, I, I'm quite, I'm quite stunned at what the difference it makes. I mean, I know that my video card wasn't too bad in the previous machine, but plumbing heck, 
definitely been worth every penny. Let's just get ourselves up to 50 miles per hour. We're at 50, 51. There we go. We're on the road. We're trundling along. Eight hours to go. That's perfect because we've got ten hours on our on our on our on our before we need our sleep. Where are we? A plemo. There are some weird-looking box buildings, crates, containers, container buildings. Aha! Oh my God! I can't remember. Couldn't remember for a second there. What what am I like? Okay, on we go. It's it's a nice day. It's a lovely day to be travelling through the Italian mountainside. It's like the Italian job. Do you remember that, Michael Caine? Or maybe you're older and you think of the the one with uh, was it Mark Wolfenberg in, the, in it? You know, Marky Mark from the the, the, the rapper. The only thing I the thing I remember I remember the Italian job. I remember it had minis in it. And it was all about kind of doing that. I don't remember the story though. It was they taking gold, weren't they? That was the thing. They were taking gold. Um, and and they were trying to blow them. The, the, and the, the, remember that whole Michael Caine thing. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. He says in a very bad Michael Caine accent. But you know what I mean. And that was the the because he blows up the entire flipping thing, wasn't it? Um, but I remember that the Michael Caine element of that. That's kind of a, probably a well-known uh, um, clip on YouTube. I would have thought. And then, of course, the bus at the end of it all ends up in the Italian mountainside. I mean, it is, yeah, it's Italy because it's called the Italian job. What am I thinking here? I was like, it's the French job. It's not quite the same. Anyway, um, but the Italian mountainside and it ends up in the Italian mountainside, and the, the bus kind of goes sliding off the road. I can't remember why. Was the brakes faulty or something like that? I can't remember the reason. Um, but they they go sliding off the road. Does this? Uh, does this? Uh, um, oh, car behind me nearly ran into me. Um, kind of off the road and it's hanging half off the side and uh, Michael Caine goes hang on I've, I've got an idea lads I think it is isn't it is, uh, is it something like that um, he's, he's got an idea because he's like the brains of the operation isn't he he's always, he's always kind of thinking the whole thing around didn't he, pl didn't he play one of the, the the Hatton garden jewellery robbers or whatever it was recently that was one of the things he played recently old Michael Caine of course, it was Get Carter as well. He did lots of things, actually. There was always that prolific sort of, uh, um, you know, actors. I watched a thing on... Uh, do you remember Steve Guttenberg? Uh, Steve was in the... Um, sorry, if I'm, 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 I should put my pop filter off. I'm going to tut down the, the, the thing. Steve Guttenberg was in uh, Police Academy um, and a number of other movies. But apparently, he was one of the most... Uh, during that space of time, he was busier than most any other actor at that point in time he literally was in everything and he he skipped that whole acting thing where you know where they have to do where they have to work as a as like a um, you know a waiter or a waitress or whatever else is well maybe not waitress in this case but you know a waiter all that kind of um, acting thing he just went straight into the business and just just did the business and was was in everything I was watching an interview with him recently I thought it was a new interview it was a couple of years old but but it was just kind of interesting to see him just sort of working his where he was in in the, in, the, in the world and all that kind of stuff. I only really remember him from Police Academy, wasn't? But he was in loads of other things. Was he in? Was he in that that silly Three Men and a Baby, which you know was a weird thing as well? I can't. That was so weird, wasn't it? Ted Danson in it as well, wasn't it? Ted Danson from Cheers fame, from my from my my, my memory, if that makes sense. I used to like Cheers though years ago. That was kind of that was kind of you know. Everybody knows what place people know your name or something similar. We'll go where people know your name. Look at that solar powered farm, solar farm with a with a tractor in it. Um, but but yeah, that that used to like cheers. And somebody said to me that that the other day they said they sent that message. They said that uh, I was a good friend to them. And um, what is it? Oh, sorry, it was thank you for being my friend. And I just know of uh, the Golden Girls. Thank you for being my friend. Travel down the road and back again. Do you remember that? No. I feel old, you know, because I'm sure that a few of you watching this will have no idea what I'm talking about. And then you'll Google it and you'll go, my God. Did Sadar Betty White, though? She's like, she's she 99 or 100 now. She's a national uh, um, you know, American treasure, is, is Betty White. She's just, just been around forever. Been in everything. She was playing an old woman in this program that was 40 years ago nearly. 
That just tells you something, doesn't it? She was playing an old woman in a movie from 40 years ago, or for a TV series, sorry, from 40 years old, 40 years ago. It's 100 and something odd years old. Yeah. He couldn't find a job. He lost two grand because he couldn't find a job. Well, you lazy so-and-so. This one of my drivers there couldn't find a job. Didn't look very hard, did you? Can't, who was that? Christine V. Do you think that the less... Do, oh, there's a th question for you, if you know the answer. Do the less experienced drivers get... Um, spend less sort of... Do, you know, get less uh, uh, jobs? I, I, I'm going to assume so. There are less experienced drivers. Because I've got some really low ones. Oh, the police uh, thing. That truck is definitely rubbernecking, by the way. Because I'm just overtaking him there. Don't be rubbernecking, you. I fancy some Volvo next, actually. I know I've got a man. So I've got a man is what I'm going to get there. I'm actually going to see if there's any DLC for it, because um, the downloadable content for this is amazing. Look at that. All the stuff to do with the with the daft stuff is really cool. You know, some of those... Uh, Jesus. Um, that could have been nasty. Um, but some of that downloadable content is really cool for those kind of things. And there's little, um, you know, imagery stuff that goes with it. It's really, really brilliant. So I might, I might have to have a little look for that. See if there's anything for the man stuff, and then go from there. Another game I'm waiting for to come out um, is apparently coming this year. is um, Bus Simulator 21, because 21's the year, of course. There was one in 2018. There wasn't very much content for that. It's a little bit, but not a lot. But I'm waiting for Bus Simulator 21. I think I, I'd really like. The thing about this is that um, obviously I'm not a full-time um, YouTube person. That's not what I do. Um, I'm, I've got other jobs as well. But I do spend an awful lot of time recording for YouTube because I enjoy it. I enjoy the, the process. I love I love recording. I love it when people put comments there. Good and bad. I don't mind. You know, um, I, I, I love I love getting the, the comments and the feedback on it. And I enjoy playing it um, with with talking to myself like a, an idiot that I do. But I do enjoy I do do to you know I know I'm talking to you as well. So, so yeah. Um, but I do enjoy that, I do enjoy that process, but because I'm not like full time, I can only uh, sort of put aside so many hours towards it, you know, and with a, with a fat, with a, still quite a, I want a medium sized family, they're not, they're not, they're not old enough to leave home yet, but, but they are uh, still a young family and, and, and I've, I've probably said before in my, my videos about little lads got autism and, and uh, as with, with autism the, the, the you know, uh, we hope one day he will be able to manage and maintain himself and look after himself and leave home but if he doesn't we'll look after him as long as we can so there's a lot of uh, you know you get everybody has responsibilities and things like that so you got your work you've got your family um, you've got other things that you do within it and send us to some just some general joy gaming and collecting and watching telly and all the things that you do and uh, you got you know you need to fit in this kind of stuff and I, and I am I am managing to fit it this in but it's it's close to my limit of fitting it in. I, I have to take a and I I've, I I have to take breaks occasionally from the the, say the series what's in the tape so that I can catch up with the little videos that I do. So I may spend a a weekend doing the little videos to catch up with the the. Uh, the sort of uh, little um, sort of ZX Spectrum things, and if I catch the if the, the the mood catches me, I get to do some other stuff. But there's so many other little things I'd like to do. I'm, I mean, I'm working on at the moment my Astro Mini um, kind of um, box opening and review and general sort of thing. But I want to record for every uh, every game that's on there. It's 37 games, um, and I want to kind of go through the UI on it uh, a little bit as well with a sort of a rundown of, of that. Um, so uh, there is quite a few the things that are on the, 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 the boiler, and and to be fair as well, I like to do my pickups videos, but I haven't been able to do them because I got I quite literally, quite literally have a pile of stuff that I picked up. These bridges, beautiful. Look at that. It's amazing. There's a sea, a boat, and me swerving across the road again. Um, but but I quite literally haven't had a chance to do my pickups videos. I would love to do some more stuff with that. The things that I've been picking up and collecting recently, because 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 I quite enjoy sharing what I've been doing. But I've literally got a pile behind me, a mound, an absolute mound of of stuff. Keep um, right. Uh, what do you say? I'm turning off here. I'm coming off here. I've got no option though. I have to come off here, Doug. Keep you left. said something there. We're whizzing through it. Wow, Porto. 
Whoa! That was close. Oh, dropped out at 25 miles an hour, go up again. Wow. That's a, that was a bad one. Keep right, running. 43. Yeah, got to stay on this bit of road. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, absolutely. The raspy Doug wasn't the most useful there. Okay, we're coming over anyway. So yeah, so so I would love to do more. I'd love to I'd love to do uh, more um, Euro Truck episodes, but unfortunately, life does get in the way sometimes, and not in a bad way, but just that that's the way it is. I love to play games. I love I love I love sort of you know yakking away about all the rubbish that's going on. Being brutally honest, kind of thing, you know, brutally honest with it all. Come over, it says. What are you doing with this road? These roads are mental. I was playing. Uh, I was playing. Somebody, some people have asked me before about playing online. I'm, I'm always a bit. I'm always a bit um, worried about playing certain games online. Not that I hate playing online. Don't get me wrong. I just ah sugar bollocks. I mean, um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was me not concentrating there. I just walloped that. I really can't believe I've done that. I don't know if I get any damage on the vehicle as well as a result. I think we have to go via a boat here actually from from this one now. Get ready to turn right. Get ready to turn right. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn right. Turn right. Yeah. And then turn right. Straight. I can't believe I hit that. I did 8% damage there as well. That was cr go straight. crap. Um, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it just, I, I was playing online, I was saying before, um, from, with, uh, with, with, and I'm, I'm not always a bit wary about it, but I'm playing online on Truck and Logistics Simulator, just because it's, it's not quite the same as this, if that makes sense, um, and I was driving along, minding my Go own business, and, and then somebody left. just drove into the back of me for the fun of it, at full tilt, and I was like, mm, turn left. that's the thing with, that's the, that's the thing that bugs me about, um, playing online. Oh, this is lovely, this village. Village town. I don't know where we've just discovered, but it looks great. I can't believe I just crashed into that, though, full tilt. That was just crappy by me. Very bad. Get ready to turn left. Get ready to turn left. It says raspy, raspy Doug. I hope I get the volumes, volumes right on this. Turn left. Turn left. Yeah, okay. I think I have the right of way here. Yeah. Definitely. Porto. Get ready to turn right. Get ready to turn right. This must be the boat. Turn right. Wow. This is beautiful. Well, maybe that sort of barge thing isn't beautiful, but. Wow. This game is just glorious, isn't it? It really is. It looks just the business. Let's get on this boat and let's go for it. Almost there. Almost to our destination. We are 134 miles away. We are 3 hours and 41 minutes out. We're going to get in at 5.15. 5.17, sorry. 5.15. I'm not stopping, I'm gonna drive on in here. Let's get us in here. Finding new route. Finding new route. And we're in. Let's have a look on the outside. Have I done damage that we can actually physically see? No, thankfully not. Kinda like that though, because why would you want to damage the beautiful looking trucks? I mean that's let's be honest, I don't want to damage the beautiful looking trucks. So 20 minute journey takes us over the water to Messenia? Don't know. Never mind. I'll find a new route. I'll find a new route. Doug's gonna find a new route. I've actually got a sore throat from by the way from copying Doug at this point. Disengage the the the, the brake. Let's just go for this. We are. Let's just see. 
129 miles it was on, so it was, that was only six miles across there. Five miles across there? Yeah, six, five to six miles across that water reroute. Interesting. <coughs> left, That's Doug's fault. Then turn left. I blame Doug. Turn okay. Left. We are three hours and... Oh, God. We are three hours and 18 minutes out, which isn't long, realistically, on game time. This is a good run, this. This is 57,000 we're going to get for this beautiful run. Look at my fluffy dice. Can you see my dice? I bet Doug loves fluffy dice. Can you say fluffy dice, Doug? Fluffy dice. Okay. There's nobody about. Two o'clock in the afternoon, the roads are absolutely clear. Look at that. I've never seen anything like it. Where's everybody at? Not another vehicle for miles. Huh. Oh, there they are. Hello. Go straight. Go straight. Okay, Doug. Okay. He's so angry. He's come here to kick ass again. Chew bubblegum. Right, we're going on. Three hours and 16 minutes. Not far now. Not far. 128 miles across this island. What are you saying, Doug? You saying we've got to go? Keep right, and then Keep turn right. right. Turn right. Turn right. I will do. Hang on, I can't go through the lights, Doug. What a guy. Come on, Doug. It's beautiful. I'm waiting, Doug. Doug, I'm waiting. Doug. Doug. Doug, he's still there. That car's just sort of drifting in nowhere. Oh, what a what a terrible turn that was! Right, I'm going to go on the other side of the road go anyway. Go straight. Go straight. I'm going to go straight. Yeah, I'm waiting. Turn the t turn the indicator off. A lot of windy s roads through here as we're going through. It's very windy. It's very cool, but it's very windy. I thought that was green. Go green! Thank you. I can't believe I crashed it into the something. Though. It's so me, isn't it? It's terrible driving. Yep. Sun's out. Beautiful day. Oh, God. Every traffic light. Yeah, I know, Doug, but the traffic lights are on green. Go, red. Come on, traffic light. Come on. Come on. I'm creeping up to you. Okay, I've stopped. Oh, my goodness. So I've got to keep going straight, Doug says. It'll be interesting to see us say how this, how this turns out in the end. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Sorry, lost lost a bit of chat there, haven't I? In between, I've just, just I've been uh, I've been uh, been just sort of um, gone a bit quiet with the with the chatting. I think because I'm concentrating on going through this town and trying not to run into anything else. Go straight. Go straight. Going straight. Going up here, straight on. I'm glad I stayed in that lane all the time. Going into the hillside here, look at this, isn't that cool? I like the noise thing, by the way, that tells me I'm speeding, I do like that. Do do do. You get that on your sat-nav yeah, anyway, don't you? Must sat -navs. I never really got that, I mean, I used to have a, I used to have a very old sat-nav from, ooh, who made it? I can't Turn remember right. now. Turn right. I've gone right. I used to have a very old sat I can't remember who made it. I can't remember the brand. Um, but she, she, she was. Uh, we, um, she was nicknamed. She was nicknamed Sasha. We nicknamed her Sasha um, because um, she was kind of sexy, um, but at the same time she was absolutely mental. She used to shout at me different commands, you know. But but it was because of the way that they were built on the sort of database, you know. She'd be she'd be she'd be like she'd be like. 
um, you come to a roundabout and she'd be, she'd be like, GO STRAIGHT ON! And you were like, what? what? Why? What have I done? You know, I mean, it's quite literally, GO STRAIGHT ON! And you were what? Leave us alone! It's <laughs> <Just> mental. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that was a feature or an option, you know. Can, can I have the mental GPS, please? It's <laughs> the one with the screw loose. <laughs> so good, that bridge. Going across the town. Oh, don't do that! I can't... T I can't turn and look at the same time. I'm, I'm just terrible at it. Right. Okay, let's get up to 50 miles per hour. We should be we should be 100, 108 miles away from our target now. It's taken us. That was that was a good uh, 20 miles, wasn't it, through the town? 21 miles through the town. That was a lot of driving in that little that that city. I'm going to call it a city because it most definitely was a city, wasn't it? If we're doing that kind of thing, I'm not not pump jeep there, uh, my, my uh, cruise control. I'll get the cruise control. Get up to 50 miles per hour. Get the cruise control. On. We'll do that. Where is your mental? God. Screaming and shouting at me. She also couldn't pronounce anything. There was no name for any place that she could actually she could actually pronounce. We need to move over for the telepass here because we've got this little thing in the front there. Just by the, the aviator glasses. Allows us to go through this without any uh, slowing down, realistically. We'll go through here. Oh, it's a fancy looking one, isn't it? Very sort of concretey in this way it looks. But yeah, she 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 yeah she was she couldn't pronounce things. And my favourite was Stirling. And there's a place in Scotland called Stirling. It's not too far from Glasgow. And uh, every time we used to go to Stirling, she used to make me laugh because she used to go Stingling. What? Where the hell? How the hell do you get Stingling and not Stirling? It's Stingling. Part of a mental fears, of course. <laughs> Sasha the sat nav. Anybody else name things like that? My cars are always boys, by the way. I did cut. I did the one. The one girl car I actually had, the one that I needed with a female name, was uh, was quite a an unlucky vehicle. However, to be fair, I knew she was going to be unlucky anyway because that was uh, it was part of. Uh, I, I ended up being made redundant from my job with the, with with that particular car. And I don't. To be fair, I don't blame the car, but uh, it wasn't the best of cars. And I had this car, and it was uh, it was. Uh, it was actually a company car, so it went back to be honest. But uh, it was the only time I named a, f a car f with a female name. It was uh, it was uh, Dusty. Um, she was called Dusty, like in Dusty Springfield. Um, you know, son of a preacher man, all that. Yeah, no. Anyway, um, I, no particular relationship between the car and model and make or anything like that. Just 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 thing, you know. So, uh, uh, but I've, I've, but but ever since then, I've always named my cars with uh, male names. So. If, so I think my first, my first, my first actual car that was kind of mine, not the ones that I kind of was was leased. Um, um, he was called uh, he was called Eddie because um, he was a Honda. So you know, if you know your Street Fighter, there's a character called Eddie Honda. So so we had a we had a we had an Eddie, um, and I've had and I'm currently on uh, I'm currently on a Billy. Um, I've got a Billy at the moment, and uh, my van's called. Uh, um, uh, it's also called Billy, but indirectly it's called uh, Buffalo, like in Buffalo Bill. So, so, so there we go. He's, he's, that's my van's name. So, 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 um, yeah. And and my wife just shouted through the cor corridor that we had Vinny as well. That was not too long ago. We had Vinny. So we've we've had a few cars. We've had Beefy too. Beefy was a good one. That's because registration place was almost like Beefy. Um, so so it was E F Y on the end of it. So we called it Beefy. Um, it wasn't very beefy at all. It was like the lowest powered car you've ever had, but it used to be the nickname was Beefy. I thought it was, it's a, it's like overkill, isn't it? It's like calling a small dog, like, you know, I don't know, like, I don't know, like calling it Godzilla or something like that. You know, you've got a, got a car and you call it a dog that's like minuscule. You call it Killer or Wolf or something like that. And it's like a Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of the same thing. Beefy, beefy was very much a was very much a tiny little uh, tiny little car. It was a actually to be fair, it was what put me off um, VWs um, um, pretty much. Um, in fact, it, no, it didn't just it. It put me off VWs. I had a it was a Polo actually, a 1.4 petrol Polo, and it really, really, really put me off them because uh, um, it it kept going wrong 
really badly wrong and its idle was extremely low so so you could stall it on practically the most minuscule of hills this teeny little hill would actually do that would actually do the do do this sort of um, you know um, um, you know stalling and, and whatever else it was it's just horrible um, it also died a few times to the point where it went to like one cylinder and uh, and I thought that I know what that means by the way because I'm not a car person um, uh, it died and it and it and it basically ended up on one cylinder um, because it had a problem and it came into limp home mode and it just limped and I mean by limp home mode oh my god I could do five miles an hour in it that's that's the mode it ended up in it was just absolutely grotesque as a as a vehicle I was I, um, and 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 it really put me off them and it, you know everybody really likes VWs and and as a result I've I've never really wanted to get another one um, so so so. I kind of, I kind of haven't done that, um, but whoa, that truck's just come screeching across the side of me there. The one that's come underneath me. Can you see that red one there on the on the, on the uh, right hand side? It's just coming up underneath me now. That's fine. You just go for that. But yeah, it put me right off them to be honest with you. I don't know. You know, I don't think I don't. I mean, I don't hate them or anything like that. And I have driven some pretty pretty fast ones in the past. Um, just oh, god, that car. I want to come across? Here we go. We're coming across now. You, you can wait. Car behind me. You can wait. There we go. We're there. We're there. Um, we're gonna go up here. We are 27 miles away. 45 minutes in game time. We're gonna get in at, at 5:21 p.m. We are. We've had a good rest. We've had a good drive. We actually have. We're doing quite well actually. This is a good run. This is a good run, apart from that crash, of course, the usual. Um, it's a bit of swerving across the road, as usual. Um, poor uh, coupling of the truck, as usual. But you can't expect anything more from me, unfortunately, at this point. If you're actually still watching my channel and still watching this, these videos, you know exactly how these things go. I want to... Uh, I kind of... Um, Mark Middleton calls it uh, uh, carry-on trucking. I quite like that, actually. I, I do like that as a terminology for it. I'm not sure if I can get away with calling the, the series carry-on trucking, right. but but, but it kind of kind of kind of kind of like I kind of like it. Um, I kind of kind of you know um, the old Sid James, but right. I don't laugh like Sid James. I can't I can't quite get the Sid James laugh. I don't think that's that's uh, don't think that's quite me. But 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 I do I do do quite like that. It's quite quite fun. We're going to stick onto this one, and we're just going to power around here. We are eight miles away from our destination. We're getting very close, very close indeed. I'm just looking everywhere, passing some houses. Hello, hello, morning or afternoon. Sorry, just ignore me. Ignore the truck. Ignore the big truck. At the round of 25 miles per hour. Take the first exit. Okay, and. And we're working our way around here. We're coming off of this one. Lemo. We are here. Wow. Little town. We're storming through it. I went... i tell you where I did go recently. Just before we get into the finishing this off. I went to uh, another customer. A new customer. And they're in the middle of a little town. And I mean a really little town. Um, and and you get to, them, to their factory through these back streets. And... Uh, I, I realised, of course, they've got articulated lorries going through here as well. And I thought, wow, um, that can't be fun for the neighbours. Because um, they're just articulated lorries blasting through it. What are these? Are they post boxes? Maybe post boxes. Boxes. We haven't got the lights for the night coming on yet. We're coming up to our destination. So we're going to go past something that's one of these unlockable ones. Oh, we do 31 now. Go straight. Go straight, please, can. Let's get some lights on, side lights on. We've got somewhere to stay, stay for the night there. My wife keeps going past the standing on the dog toy, so if you can hear the squeak, that's the dog toy. So, on we go. Nice, gentle drive. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's a fire testing station, I think, that we just passed there. We're almost there. Doug, we're almost there, mate. Raspy dogs, almost there. Another, another destroyed building. You get a lot of Keep destroyed left. buildings. I've not been, I've not been in Italy before. 
I'm not very well travelled, actually, to be honest. Never, I never, I've always been a very much a homebody and I always struggle with sort of staying away from places and, uh, or staying away from home. I can't, I can't sleep very well and I, and I can't sort of, and I don't, and I, and I, and I usually end up with a, with a, with a migraine headache from sort of just, just, just being, being away. I just, I'm, I'm very much, some people are like that, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people who's just sort of very settled and, and don't see the, the no rush straight. or the need to, to head off anywhere particularly. Oh, Renault dealer. Cool. Okay, where are we going next? At the Here we go across this. Take the second exit. That's a railway track, was it? Maybe not. Exit now. Exit now. Raspy Dirk. Turn right. Oh, there. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just get us wide so we can Here do it. I bet are. it's in the middle of all that. Kind of on time. Kind of on time. Oh my god. I'm gonna be. I'm totally unstraight. Look at the back of me. Look at this. Look at that. Idiot. I'm gonna have to cut, but I know for a fact I'm gonna have to cover that way, so, so we'll just do that. I should just. Didn't take us wide enough. Let's handle the job anyway. Let's get it into. Let's go for the the more the, the the better one. Let's go for that one. Yeah, I knew it was going to be there. Right. Okay. Um, that's fine because I need to do it that way anyhow. So let's get back in here. Oh, f God's sake! There we go. We're in. Blooming heck! Sometimes. Just an idiot, Anna. Okay, here we go. God, look at all the reflections in the, the vehicles. Is that new? Probably is from my, my point of perspective. Okay, oh, you would put something... Look at this, they put something in the way. So I can't spin it out as nicely as I want to. They've actually physically blocked my route intentionally to make it life difficult for me. That's fine. I don't mind you being life being difficult for you. It's it's fine. I don't. I'm not overly, overly fussed. That's a great, great view of the daft truck, isn't it? Look at that. Anyway, um, so let's let's get back in and let's uh, go over here. We'll try and make ourselves some space. I'll put the lights on now. Let's try and make ourselves some space by going over here, and we'll get we'll get we'll get well wide. Go buy this. Right. We don't have any um, weird axles going on this time, do we? No. Let's have a little look over my shoulder, see where we are and position the other in relation to it. Right. If I can swing this far enough over, I think we might be alright. Maybe. No, maybe not. It's too far too blooming what's it called but hey that doesn't matter because we'll, we'll do this stop we'll bring it bring it forward and again and we'll use the space for this there we go right okay uh, that way I think isn't it yeah that's the one Oh, we're, we're calling it. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Damn. Let's pull this forward again. Let's have a little look. Let's see if we can, we can adjust it a little bit more. Right, okay, let's see if we can just use that extra space that we've got there to do that whole thing. Now uh, let's go this way. We'll go that way. I've just knackered myself there, didn't I? I really did. I just did a stupid thing. We're going to adjust this again. I'm going to have to go back in the truck in a second because I'm all over the place with the camera here. And that's not that's not much fun sometimes to watch. So let's just 
let's just get this adjusted. There we go. Right, that should swing us around. Try not to hit this. Go, 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 go. Plumbing thing. Sugar. What am I doing wrong here? Apart from not being in the, the truck. Right, let's go. Let's go back in here. Right. Let's just... I've hit something at the other side. I've hit the other. Tra I've hit the other trailer. That's blooming awful. That's really difficult, actually. And I'm. I'm probably going to have to come across the front of here. Wow, there's a train. Did you see that? There's a train there. Look. We're going to have to come. I'm going to have to come absolutely straight. I think is the answer to this. I'm going to have to bring myself straight and then swing in hard. I think. I think that's my problem here. I'm going to have to come absolutely straight. Right, like that. Bring it up a bit more. And then swing it in. So, like that. My goodness. And then... Wrong way. Right, and then swing it in hard, like this. So, basically spinning those axles there and seeing whether or not I can shift them like this on the spot. I think I'm going to put myself in the same situation. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Or maybe I am, if I don't behave myself here. Come on. Go, 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 go. Ah, come on. Brain, brain, engage. How am I going to do this? Right, I'm going to go around the building. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna spin around the building. I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna think about it. If I can get around, that is. This is where I get myself nicely blocked in. No, there's nothing around the back. Right, I'm gonna go around the building. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna bring myself really close into the other truck trailers and then see if I can actually squeeze myself through the whole thing. So we'll go around this like that, and I'm gonna really, really tight to these guys. And then I'm going to swing myself around hard. Really tight to this thing. So I'm going to really, 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 really get it and tight. That's not tight at all. I bet that's not very tight at all. No, it's not bad. It's not better than I thought it was going to be. Now, right, bring myself at an angle. Oh, God. I see if that gets a swung around. Let's see if I can swing it in now. That's going round. Do it the wrong way, you see, because I'm not seeing. I'm on the. Is it offside of the driver? We're going for it. We're doing it all outside this time round. Sugar. That's all right. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I can live with that. truck there. Oh god. That guy in that place there. You see him in the back there. He must be going, what an idiot. What an idiot. Why did he get his license? Truth is, I haven't got one. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm driving Euro Truck Simulator. That's, that's the reason. Let's get in here. Ah! 
Ah! Me getting crazy there. Right, I've jumped the little bar. I jumped the barrier there. Did you see that? The little barriers at the back. There's like little dung dunk. That'll do. Look, it'll take it. That's terrible. Look at that. It's blooming awful. I can't believe it. It's like half up on the bloody bit there. But I'll take it. I don't care. It's it's it was worth it. Was we'll decouple. I accept. I accept my 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 particularly poor driving there, and they accepted it there and then. I think they just gave up and they were like, "Yeah, let him let him have it." Oh, cool. I have now leveled up again, so I'm now an instructor. Really? <laughs> so I get to choose another one of these. So what I'm going to do is we've got the full up on there, full up on there. These are the ones that we need to start building on, but I think we're going to take some, some more of these. What class is this one? It's flammable gases, I think it is. There, flammable gases, explosive stuff, poisonous gases, or um, if I undo that, we can do that one, which is uh, that one. Solid fuels, spontaneously combustion, wet and whatever else is. I want to take a me. I'll get that one because it gives us more options. You see, to, to take loads for. So these are the the these are the basically the standards for transportation certificates, basically for being trained to do dynamite and explosives, trained to be do flammable gases, li liquids, um, flammable solids. I've got poisonous substances. I've got corrosive substances. Really interesting stuff, to be honest with you. And then of course these increase your value of the the, the bits and pieces that you've got. So the loads on or reduce your, your whatever else is. Let's see what upgrade. We've got got other upgrades available. Oh wow! Look at that. That's a hell of a beacon, isn't it? We've got some other bits and pieces. All all of them have got beacons, I think. By the looks, I think some Magnum beacon. That's cool. And um, we've got trailer upgrades, none of which I've ever dealt with really. Uh, dolly, two axle, standard. I've not done anything with the trailers, and I've got all these options here for trailers, and I've not done a blooming thing with them. Um, never at all if I've done anything with the trailers and there's trailer shops somewhere so so I've not done that right let's get let's get on the road here and just get ourselves parked up for the night and uh, we'll call it a day but that was quite fun I enjoyed that here we go so oh place to buy truck stop oh, that, they'll let us stay there let's go to the truck stop and we'll stay there for the night simple enough place to go to let's do that okay here we go okay here we go Okay, here we go. It's late evening. Time for dinner. Turn left. Turn left. I'm enjoying Raspy Dog, by the way. That was quite good fun, that. I quite enjoyed that. That was a tram! What? Do you know something? I knew you were going to do that. Plumbing car. Where's that tram? It's over there. Plumbing car. I'm. Do you know something? I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. Always the same. Turn left. I'm going to turn left. I'm going to park in here now. for the night. Can we park in here? Oh, can we not rest in here? We must be able to rest in here. Can we not? Oh. Normally you can rest in these places. That's rubbish. Right, okay, let's just stop the truck and let's press M for map. Let's go find somewhere to park. We're going to park over here then. We should try one of these actually, because look, there's a boat thing there next time round. Let's try try that. Um, but let's, let's go find there. Let's get this job done. Let's get this job done. Locked and loaded. Turn oh, left. Is that dirt? Ah, uh, rubbish thrown all over the ground. High res rubbish. Go straight. 
Everybody keeps on just driving in front of me. I don't know what's going on here. What is wrong with you all? Turn right. I was indicating, what's now on that yellow car? Um, I Im I impacted on that yellow car. Sure I was. Oh well. It's fine, we're getting there. It's that smashed house again. Low speed when we're getting there. We're just making our way there. It really upset me that actually that running into that car. It's just just unnecessary from me. Unnecessary. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the petrol station. There should be a place Finally, to stay in here. We're, here. we're here. We should be able to pull up here. We'll go to the seafront tonight. Get ourselves a nice bottle of wine and whatever else is. A nice bottle of wine tonight. Not too not too heavy. A drink. Something Italian to eat. It'd be lovely. Brilliant night. Anyway, without further ado, push the button there. We'll get our rest. And we're going to leave it there. So, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. And honestly, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.